a very uncomfortable place to have a lump. So if you develop one in or around your vagina, you want to know why and how to get rid of it very quickly. Hi, I'm Dr. Sylvia, a general practitioner and health educator with Ask Away Health. Welcome back to the channel. Here we give you health information to help you live better. And believe me, if this is the kind of information that you need, please go ahead, like this video, and do consider subscribing to the channel. And don't forget, you can follow us on social media. Our account is at Ask Away Health on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. The vagina is a tube open at one end, but closed off by the cervix at the opposite end. On the inside of the vagina are tissues that produce fluid that helps to clean and maintain the environment of the vagina. There are several possible causes of vaginal lumps or bumps. Here are common ones. First, Bartholin's cyst. This is a fluid-filled sac that can form on one of the Bartholin's glands that are located near the opening of the vagina. And usually it's felt as a small, often it's painless lump, unless it starts to get bigger. It can lead to pain when walking or sitting or during sex. Sometimes the cyst can get infected and then it would swell very quickly. And what you might feel is an excruciatingly painful swelling right at the opening of the vagina on either side. It might also feel hot and you may also develop a high temperature. This usually means it has grown into what we call a Bartholin's abscess. Small painful cysts that are not infected can be treated with painkillers while an infected cyst will need antibiotics. Treatment can also include a surgical procedure where the sac or the cyst is burst and drained and antibiotics are given. Number two, genital warts. These are commonly caused by low risk strains of human papilloma virus, that is HPV, and they appear as small fleshy bumps on the genitals. So they can happen as single or multiple growths they can happen separately or close together. They are usually painless, but they have the potential to grow in size and spread. It is essential to treat them and at the same time test for other types of sexual infections. Warts can be treated in different ways. So the treatment options include first, no treatment at all, because one third of visible warts disappear by themselves within six months. However, many do not, and they can be unpleasant and quite disfiguring, uh, leading to anxiety and distress. Another option are self-applied creams or ablative methods like heat therapy, removing it or electrocautery. These should be considered only if the practitioner, that is the person providing them, is appropriately trained. Now, while these treatments can be very effective. Sometimes they can leave scars or changes in the pigmentation around the areas where the warts were located. So it looks different and that contributes to distress about the change in the appearance of the vagina. The HPV strain that causes warts is not the same as that which causes cervical cancer. However, it is possible you could get infected with the high risk strain at the same time. Therefore, please make sure you maintain regular cervical smears to identify any changes early that could suggest cervical cancer. 